how it should get at least one. See, this is lower limit and upper limit. The person can get or should get at least one. And maximum is, or I'll say lower limit is A B C greater than or equal to one and A B C plus than or equal to seven. Then how do you proceed? First take care of the lower limit. First take care of the lower limit. Then then just solve it like the previous one. Once you see lower limit question, you can directly change it to a low limit question, right? Once you take care of the lower limit, it, it changes to 7, right? Right hand side will change to 7. Now it becomes an upper limit question now. 1 is already taken care of, so it becomes 6 now. Read it also, that point also, that's it. And there is a lower limit and an upper limit. When I am already giving you 1, 1, 1. Then again you can't take an upper limit of 7. Now we need to consider an upper limit of 6 also. Anyway, we are going to solve those kind of questions. So that's a logic. So this is what we can expect, right? Lower limit, upper limit and a mixture of both. How do we answer for this? A person has person must buy or 20 identical apples. How many ways you can give it to? A, B, C, D. A similar question. This is similar to, okay, this is question number. Okay, it's not the a person. 20 identical apples to 4 persons. A, B, C, D. A should get at least 1. B should get at least 2. C should get at least 3, D should get at least 1, 4. This is similar to cat question. See, all, almost all of you can get the answer without using a pen. A should get at least 1, B at least 2, C at least 3, D at least 4. So, what's the answer? 13 C3. It's as easy as that. It's not an easy question. By no means. For conventional standard, this is not, not an easy one. Right? But, here it's only a matter of this follow the condition. It's a sitter now. 1, 2, 3, 4, take out. Take out 1 and give it to A. B, 2 to B, 3 to C and 4 to D. Right? 1 to A, 2 to B, 3 to C and 4 to D. That means 10 are taken out. 10 are taken out. It's only a matter of remaining how many zeros? 10 zeros. And how many ones? 10 zeros and 3 ones. So the answer is 13 C3. Five second answer. But why it is, first of all, it's a basic question. Last year there were two cat questions based on this. And in 2004 there were, again, one more question based on the same same question. A person moving from one point to another point, moving only in positive directions. So, 2008 there were two questions. We'll see them also. Those two questions also we'll see. Not today, in the next session. Now, if I write, if I write an algebraic expression, how many roots are possible? Now, if I should, this is one root, right? <coughs> For a person to move from A to B, overall he'll have to cover three horizontal distances and two vertical distances. Three horizontal distances and two vertical distances. That is H, 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 and V and V. This is this itself is a root. Expressing like this itself is a root. What is the graph? This is the algebraic expression. If you want, you can take it that way. Graphical representation will be H. H, H, V and V. This is one root, right? This is one root by following the addition. Now, now if I just change it to H, V, H, V, H, then the root will be H, V, H, V, H. That's a different root. <laughs> this is exactly what we did initially for zeros and ones also, right? This is H, V, H, V, H. Now, why we can use zeros and ones here? Because zeros and ones are nothing but Two symbols. So we can write 0 here and 1 here. 0 here, 1 here and 0 here. Alright. So the question can be compared to how many zeros? This is completely unconventional. But this is how if you solve, start solving it, you can solve a lot more questions than the other, other way around. So it's based on 3 zeros and how many ones? 2 ones. 3 zeros and 2 ones. Answer is 5C2. Now, just like this. This is then the 2008 questions. That's something like this. A person is going from A to B. How many ways he will go through? How many ways he can go from A to B via C? This is CAT 2004. So sit down now, right? How many ways he can go from A to C? A to B via C. So how do you solve? A to C, how many ways? So this is product rule, right? How many ways he can go from A to C? How many zeros? It just count the number of columns. 1, 2, 3. So there are 3 zeros and 2, two 3 zeros and 2 ones. That's 5 C2. C to B is again 1, 2, 3 and 1 and 2. So 5 C2 and 2, 
5 C 2. Answer is 5 C 2 into 5 C 2. Clear, right? What is the probability that we will pass through C? That's the next level, next question. What is the probability that we will pass through C? These are the favorable cases, right? Divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 zeros and how many ones? 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 zeros and 4 ones. So that's 10 C. Total number of roots are 10 C4. See, this is out, right? Our circle is not required. That means pi is out of calculation. This is not the best thing which you learn in my class. I'm just showing you these are very basic things which you will practice. Very basic things, the most basic things. Now, answer is just 10 seconds away, right? Maybe not even that much. 10 seconds away if you are dividing. Otherwise, if you can imagine that, answer is direct. 1, 2, over, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All equal areas. I'm using the word. They are not, not necessarily triangles. You need equal areas of any shape. Is it math? No. Or it's just, what is the answer now? 1 out of 8 of 256. So I'm sure all of you can directly relate to this. This will happen automatically once you spend a few more hours in every topic. The geometry, very well in numbers. Where you need to put in some effort is only in numbers. Again, I'm telling you. I need some effort from your side only in numbers, nowhere else. If you talk only from the math point of view. Now, DI adding at any time, DI sessions can only be better if you are just relating it to the logic which we use for solving math questions. DI questions will be something like this. What is this? In terms of 3 set Venn diagram, we will solve it like this. This is a, the 3 set Venn diagram for us. Why you need it? Why you need this? Okay, I am not going into details. Why you need this? Can you draw a 5 set Venn diagram? Can you make a 5 set Venn diagram in a single diagram? Yes or no? 5 sets, 6 sets in a single diagram. You will do that in CAD. 6 set Venn diagram? 6 set Venn diagram, then I will learn it from you. For sure. You can make it using a lot of diagrams, but that, that is not feasible in CAD. How will you solve a 6 set Venn Then how will you solve a 6 set Venn diagram question? Will you solve it like it's been given in all those practice tests where if you solve it once, you will never you solve those. I will give you the confidence to solve any Venn diagram question with any number of sets. What will be the level? I will give you that confidence for you, everyone to solve. Which otherwise are impossible to attempt, I will say, in CAD. If you get six, you that is one type of mathematical reasoning questions in DI. Not the easiest one. Now if you are talking about conventional DI where numbers and calculation is involved, how we will solve calculation intensive DI questions is, I am not in a position to show you that. I need to distribute sheets and we need to solve caselets. We will solve it without doing any calculation. It's just about that. I'll teach you every possible calculation technique from a CAT point of view, not Vedic maths. But I'll teach you to such an extent that you will never do any calculation. Is it possible? Right now, anyway, you won't believe. I know that, but it is possible. To solve every calculation in this question, you don't need to do any calculation. There are four direct approaches. One by using I'm just one by using the unit digit, one by using the first digit, one by using the number of digits, and one by using the sum of the digits. You can solve calculation based questions or you can eliminate calculation based questions and that you can practice it even faster than the math strategies.